Hey guys, welcome back to more Illusion Connect. This is only going to be a very quick video going over whether you should pull on the Kasumi banner or not. So let's get into it. So the Kasumi banner go <laughs> it's pretty much it so this is the banner that everyone has been waiting for to come on to global this is the one you want to pull for it's not a pull or pass it's a pull or pull if you've got tickets go for it you do at least 20 hopefully you get one copy um if you're if you like if you've been saving a lot this is the one if you've been saving the whole time you go to seven on uh it's really handy i'm gonna i might uh i don't know i feel like i'll do this in a separate video um, I'll see. I'll do at least 20. Don't know if we'll go to 70 because it gets expensive on the packs. Uh, but like, I really do want at least an A Kasumi. Um, then I can start grinding away on her, uh, in the, uh, in the, whatchamacallit, the Arcana. But she's so fantastic. So basically when we look at it, her passive, when she appears, her crit damage is increased by 55% and she steals all enemy invincibility and shield effects. Really strong. Really, really strong. Then we have this one. Uh, Kasumi attacks an enemy column, deals attack times 265% damage. She loses 40% HP, but increases crit rate by 60%. So she's basically, after this, she's gonna guarantee to crit just about every time. Now she does lose 40% HP, which some people seem to dwell on a little bit. However, keeping in mind, if the enemies do have shields or invincibilities, it's gonna mitigate a lot of that damage. I know that's not always gonna happen, but even so, if you play it wisely, get her behind a tank or something like that, um, it can work really well. Uh, and then obviously, uh, I can't remember what the lens up is on this one. I think it's increasing crit rate as well, or crit damage, one of the two. Basically, she's just a crit beast. So when you get a, a like a crit damage increase of 55%, which is huge, on top of that, after your first ult, you gar basically guarantee to crit every time. If you can keep her alive, um, and like I said, if you do deploy her in, in certain comps against the right thing and get the shields or invincibilities, it's just GG. And the thing about this is, so a really strong team does become um, the what's her face team. I always forget the chick's name. The one that gives the invincibility. The one you get for the dollar pack. How have I forgotten her name? Phoebe. So Phoebe, basically, let's have a look at her skill and show you what I'm talking about. So the passive, uh, deploy at least five light or healing to class partners. Activation reward, when Phoebe appears, she grants invincibility status to three random ally units, last 20 seconds. So the fact that she becomes really strong um, in like PvP and stuff like that because of that effect, if you fight those type of teams, you just drop Kasumi and basically just nullify their whole advantage and then go ahead and delete the whole column. So... Um, Kasumi, definitely, definitely worth pulling for. If you've got some saved up, now is the time to go ham. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do another video where I do my pulls for her. I don't know how many I'm going to do. We'll wait and see, but, uh, but yeah, Kasumi, definitely worth it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.